What's up everyone? This is Randy with Big Salinas Barbecue. Uh, today we are going to talk about the process of getting your barbecue sauce bottled. So I've been getting a lot of questions on what goes into getting your barbecue sauce bottled. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about. Um, first step really is to break down your ingredients, make sure everything's measured out in cups and ounces. Um, that way it's easier for your co-packer to make it um, exactly how you make it. Um, I want you to say a pinch of this or a dab of that. It's not going to, they're not going to make it the same way. Um, and be willing and open for uh, suggestions and ideas on how to um, what to change, what to tweak. Um, they were they're gonna suggest maybe you know using this, uh, using um, regular sugar and molasses to make brown sugar. That way it's cheaper for you. Um, otherwise, you're looking anywhere from three dollars to um, seven dollars a bottle. I know when I went in, she told me there's someone that wanted exactly how he made it, and he was looking at almost twelve dollars a bottle. Um, that's before you he even sells it in stores um, or sells it to the general public um, So you want it as cheap as you can get so be open to suggestions and open to change um, We went with uh, County Fair Foods in Arlington, Texas. I'll have a uh, link to the website so that we can go down there and um, Message them if you do want to use them. I do highly recommend them. Uh, they do a lot of um, cotton candy, popcorn stuff, you know, for all of, you know, Texas, you know, the um, football stadiums, you know, the Dallas Cowboys, the Texans, uh, Rangers, the Astros, all of them. They do a lot of pack co-packing for them. Um, they actually are the ones who actually make it um, and sip it out. Um, so that's what their main thing is, but they do a lot of barbecue sauce, um, you know, Lockhart, ourselves, um, people down in San Antonio, Houston, Austin, um, people up north come down there, down here to get it. Um, they're very, you know, family oriented and a great business to work with. Um, so the first thing you're really going to do is you're just going to make sure you have everything in order, you know, state-wise, you know, your sales tax, um, ID, your federal employer, identification number, um, your food manufacturer license um, get all those first before you do want to go to get in a co-pack um, certainly you know here in Texas you can do the Texas cottage law um, which is basically you can make it in home and sell it directly to customers um, you can't really sell it in stores you're not supposed to you can get a um, fine for it um, that's something we didn't do um, we don't I don't want to mess with it if, you know it's a pain in the butt to sit there and bottle you know 16 20 bottles at a time and then you're redoing it over and over and over um, to me it's better just to go ahead and get it done get it out of the way um, anywhere throughout the whole process you're looking honestly um, between five to six thousand um, dollars and that's you know the startup fee the bottling um, the labels all that it's all you know that's just my estimate for you um, uh, it could be cheaper could be more just depends on what ingredients you use um, so the way they do it way County Fair Foods is uh, they make you sign a non-disclosure statement um, that's basically th telling you and them they're not gonna give out your recipe to anybody um, they're not going to use your name or use anything um, without your permission on it. They're not going to send anything without your permission. Um, after that, they you give them the recipe. They will oh, they'll tell you, you know, yeah, maybe change this, try this, instead of this, use this. Um, then you'll sit down and look at your bottle. Um, you'll decide on which bottle you want to use, whether it's going to be, you know, a, a typical 16 ounce bottle. Um, if you want to use the long ones, short ones, you want to do gallons, whatever you want, decide then. Um, and then you'll give them a sample. They will 
try to take your recipe and match it as close as they can get to your sample. Um, once you do get the you get that sample and you try it out and says yes that's good, let's go ahead and the next process they'll ship it out to the state to get it um, nutritional facts done, um, your shelf life. Um, so while you're waiting for all that to come back, uh, we went through first choice labels to get the labels made um, for us. So you just design, um, you know, the label you want. Um, obviously, you know, we used our our label and tweaked it a little bit. Um, so that's the really, if you're gonna, once you do the label, make sure you have the name you wanna use, what kind of design you want, what kind of color schemes. Um, that way you can make it easier for yourself and easier for them to get it done. Um, if you have someone that's really good at making the labels, um, go ahead and have them draw it up. That way you can ship it to them, send it to them in the email, say, hey, you know, let's go with this one. Um, once you get that, they will tell you, okay, we'll just wait for the nutritional facts. Um, and then they'll sh send it off to uh, your co-packer to make sure that everything's in order, they're okay with it. Uh, if there is any, any changes that need to, be, need to be made, they'll make it then before they do the printing for it. Um, that whole process for the nutritional facts and shelf life is anywhere between 30 days to 60 days, depending on how fast they get it done. Um, I know we kind of got lucky because we did it before the COVID hit, um, or really most of it hit. Uh, so we had it already sitting there. Um, so once quarantine come back, as basically, or once quarantine hit, uh, we actually got lucky that we were able to get it shipped, sent the results sent to the state for the approval. Um, once, I know once our co-packer County Fair Foods got the results, um, they call up the person who needs to sign off on the state, um, and they will make sure uh, everything's in order. They'll give you the go ahead and say, okay, yes, just go ahead and um, bottle it. Um, and then they'll start the bottling process. Usually the bottling process maybe take one or two weeks, depending on um, how busy they are. Ours usually, you know, ours took a week, I think. Um, wasn't very, very long. Um, but I mean, that's pretty much it. Um, so my biggest suggestion on if you're thinking about doing barbecue sauce on it, um, look in your state first to see, you know, like, like I said, Texas has a cottage law where you can make it at home um, and sell it directly to the consumers. Um, if your state allows that, I would just suggest go ahead and do that first. Um, just that way you can build your market. Um, once you get a good market and you get people, you know, loving it and buying it, um, go ahead and get it, go with the co-packer just so we don't have to make it no more. Um, you can have everything in order, um, already ready to go. So when you get orders, you can go ahead and ship it to, you know, stores, you can ship it to customers. Um, right now we have it at five stores, um, one in McKinney, Texas, Char 380, one in Rumor City. Uh, Joe's Meat Market, one in Weatherford, Texas, um, Outdoor Grill Sales, two in Houston, uh, one in Conroe, Moshack's Meat Market, and the barbecue store in Hempstead. Um, we're still looking to get a couple more added on to it, maybe potentially out of state, um, but you know, we're just letting our market right now hit. Um, so, you, my other suggestion is. Um, get with other barbecue people, you know, whether it's competition teams, um, local businesses, whatever, um, to get them involved because they're going to be your biggest, biggest um, tool to use. Um, the more support you get and the more people you get wanting to back you, um, you know, not just talking about um, giving you money, but supporting you, helping you get your name out there, um, that's going to be your your biggest tool. Um, so, I mean, if you have any questions, just shoot me a message. Uh, I just wanted just to come on here and take a, you know, take a little time to um, help some people out because there's not very many videos, if at all, that uh, people can come to YouTube to actually see, you know, hear about the process. Um, I'll have everything in the link 
of where, what we used, um, you know, County Fair Foods, uh, the link for First Choice labels, um, and like I said, if you have any questions, uh, you can shoot me a message. Um, I'll put an email address down below so that way you can email me um, if you have any questions. Um, other thing I would suggest to you, if you're going to make your own barbecue sauce and you're going to just sell it to consumers, um, you don't have to go through the labels to get someone to make it, um, you know, because I mean, you're not going to want to spend a thousand dollars for a label if, you know, for, you know, five thousand dollars, five like five thousand labels, if you're just selling it directly to the consumer, um, get you a good printer, color printer get you some full sheet label sheets and make it yourself. Um, it may not come out uh, totally straight when you cut it, um, but that's just a good idea um, to help you save some money. But certainly if you wanna use, um, get you know get labels printed, hey, go ahead. Um, that's just an open suggestion. Um, but like I said, just go ahead and shoot us a message if you um, have any other questions. Um, or if you want to see something like this, maybe, you know, we'll get someone on to talk us into um, how to get a rub bottled, anything like that. Um, but that's it.